Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for you from now and you might as well say to the end of June. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, keep in mind that not every reading is for you. We're just going to see what comes up for, you know, the rest of the month. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy. What does Sagittarius need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know? <laughs> well, it couldn't get any better than that now, could it? Since that is your card, right? It is. It's about patience. It's about evolving. You're changing. You're going through a transformation. You're going through a transition in your life. I think that uh, you're really experiencing some big changes. Huge. Huge. Uh, you're probably feeling all kinds of things. You are evolving, right? You're evolving. You're not the same person that you used to be. You're, you're, you're better. Better, 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 better. You're, you've come so far. So far. It's like you don't even... It's like you can hardly even fathom who you used to be it's like the future it looks so different i feel like you guys are going through massive 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 change right now internal and external you may be even changing your looks you know um huge 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 transitional period in your life right now It's almost like you're going through a spiritual renewal, right? That's what's going on. You're probably looking really, really good at this time. You're feeling really good. Um, you should be. You should be. But, you know, sometimes transition and change is hard. So you're probably going through ups and downs, highs and lows, right? Okay, and you're, you're working on balancing out all these feelings and changes that are going on within you. You know, there's probably times of extreme, maybe even depression, you know, where it's just like, this is too much. You may feel overwhelmed. You may be overwhelmed with the, with the thoughts and the feelings and the changes that are going on within you. Um, but I think that you are finding the ability, and you have the ability, I mean, you have that internal magic to... Um, blend blend you know to blend these these new uh ways these new um feelings these new thoughts these new ideas these new visions into your future plan whatever that is yeah you have multiple options here you've been you've been dealing with some confusion you have I think that you you have so much on your plate. You you're probably going definitely going back and forth as to, you know, what you want, where you're going, what's best for you, what isn't best for you, who you are, who you used to be, um, what needs to stay, what needs to go. There's it's it's overwhelming. I think that you are you may be going through periods of feeling completely overwhelmed with the transition that you're going through. But whatever is happening is going to bring you something. You are bringing yourself something. It's like, it's like your soul, your soul is going through a massive healing right now of some sort. You are working hard, working really, really hard, putting in a lot of effort. People are respecting you. People are seeing all the work that you're doing. Trust me, they are. Wow. Look at the abundance. You are looking really, really good at this time. It's like your abundance is growing. Your self-worth is growing. Your self-esteem is going up. You're being, you're being shown as being very self-sufficient. People are looking up to you. People are absolutely looking up to you, respecting you more than ever. They're seeing they're seeing your ability to take care of business, put it that way. Wow, clarity. You are seeing things clearly too. It's like you've got the power in your hands. This is the sort of power. 
page of coins. You're starting a new a new chapter, or well, chapter isn't the right word. A new journey, a new there could be a new prospect, you you, or a new avenue that is opening up in front of you. You may be starting something new, brand new that you've never done before. That's part of change. It's part of transition. You may be going down a road you have never been down, and it may be a little scary, but I think that. I think that you're ready for it. I do think that you're ready for it. I think I see that you you have all the skills that you need. I think that you've gained a lot of skill. You've gained a lot of skill probably through through suffering because, you know, there's there has been suffering. There has. I know I've been doing your readings for a long time. Nine of Cups. Queen of Cups. So this is this is right, and the time is ripe. You see, those grapes are ripe. That is time. The time is now to have it all. And it's almost like, and this is like a wish coming true as well. It really is. I I really feel like you, you know, something that you have been working hard to obtain, is coming to you. You know, they say, you know, uh, there's an old saying, and I don't know exactly what it is about. You know, you've got to go after your dreams. And you are going after your dreams. I see you guys putting a lot of effort to be successful, to conquer your own demons and go after your dreams. You're probably very high energy at this time. And you're probably really curious about what's ahead of you. There's a lot of curiosity here. You may be even a little fearful, you know. I think right now you have this opportunity to have it all and you're getting more blessings than you expect and... It's, it's overwhelming. You're not used to it. Queen of Cups, this is love. This is, this is um, nurturing, tender, loving care. Ooh. So you have a couple queens here. Four of Cups is boredom. There's a lot of thinking going on. You're, you're really, really thinking. You're contemplating. You're, you're thinking about love. I think you're thinking about a relationship or you're thinking about um, accepting a new offer or going in a new direction, something more emotionally fulfilling. It's like you're focusing on something over here when there's, there's something down here that you're not looking at anymore. It's like I think you're focusing on something new. You're thinking about something new. You're, you're thinking about... Going down a new path that could be a hell of a lot more fulfilling, that's for damn sure. I think you're thinking about leaving something behind that doesn't have anything left for you. That's what I think I see here. You could be dealing with a couple of females. If this, if this isn't you, you could be dealing with a couple of females that um, are helping you or, you know, they've been guiding you. They've been uh, giving you some kind of guidance, whatever it is, tender, loving care, nurturing you. You could be dealing with somebody who is very practical, or maybe this is you, very practical. So we have a very hard worker here, by the way. If somebody is working really, really hard, basically go after their dreams. I think your intuition is really speaking to you at this time, and I think that you are being called to, you know, follow your heart, follow your heart, go where your heart wants to go, Okay. I feel like there is some sort of conflict here because this guy, this person, delivers a, a, a conflicting message, a message that may make you feel conflicting. So you conflicted. So you may be in conflict with going down this new path, right? You may be in, you probably have this new door that has opened or you see this, this brighter future someplace else, but you probably, you know, will have to... Maybe you gotta maybe you gotta make some sort of cut. I don't know. Um, this is in your external environment. You probably are dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a woman. I think this is a woman, a feminine that because these are both feminine energies. You're probably dealing with a feminine that you know, is nurturing you. I think I already said this. This this feminine is giving you guidance. This feminine is is it could be this could be a mother and this could be a child. You could have a mother that is helping you to obtain, you know, helping you in some way. 
pushing you, you know, giving you the nudge, whatever that is. You could also, um, I mean, and I know I'm going to get some comments. My mother's a bitch. My mother's a narcissist. My mother this, then, you know, then that part isn't for you. Okay, guys, got to keep that in mind. If it's something I say doesn't resonate, then just leave it. Leave it alone. I see this is a curiosity. This is a, I think that you, you guys are very curious about something new. Okay? You're curious about going down a new path. And I, I feel like you have multiple options. You need to choose wisely because that is a card of consequences. Be careful with your choices. Do not act impulsively. If, if, if you're thinking a lot and you're contemplating, maybe you need to ask for advice from somebody. Somebody that you trust. Um, communicate, communicate, communicate. This is communication. You are receiving. You know, you have. The, you need to communicate with somebody. And I think there's a feminine, a female. I don't know who it is. Whether it's a mother, or it's a friend, or it's a grandmother, or it's a sibling, or whoever it is, that probably has some sort of advice or some truth or something to give you. I think that you guys are really in a state of contemplation and confusion, and maybe you just need a an ear. Okay, if there's a female, a feminine that you trust, whatever the relationship is, that you really trust and you need some advice, ask this woman for advice. She can give you the advice you need to bring success, something. She has some sort of message for you. It's almost like it's a motherly type of energy, whether it's your actual mother or not. This is somebody who can help you. Anyway, um, mm. a five of coins reverse. This is this is um, coming out of the darkness. So you, if you've been in some sort of dark period, you're coming out of it. You are coming out of it, and I think a lot of you have been in a dark period. I think right now you're really focused on your money. You're focused on your job. There's been some poor financial decisions. There's been a loss of money. There's been um, not in the past. There's been less than enough focus. There hasn't been enough focus on, you know, stability. And I think that's what part of the change here. I think part of the change is I'm going to focus on my stability. I'm going to focus on my finances. I'm going to focus on my money. I'm going to focus on my security and my stability. I think we have somebody here that has been kind of in a state of, you know, looking for a handout or looking for, you know, didn't really want to do the work, but I think that's changed. And I don't, I'm not saying that you were looking for a handout. Maybe it's the person that you're dealing with. It's like we're dealing with a, a selfish individual here that really didn't want to work, didn't want to work on anything but themselves. Very greedy, selfish individual who, you know, was, you know, not putting in effort. That's for damn sure. Um, swords reversed there's no rush there's no rush and there's fear like I think I may have said that there's fear there's fear of the unknown here we have somebody here that really wasn't taking the action they need to, to come up with new ideas to to follow through to go after what they wanted it's like somebody was stuck they were stuck. There could have been some illegal, some illegal issues. There could have been some drugs involved or, or something that has held somebody back. Somebody. May have been in a situation that was. Empty. Right. There was no. help you were dealing with somebody maybe that didn't have any love to offer somebody that was emotionally unavailable that held you down you know that maybe it was a victim maybe you were a victim of your circumstances you could have been dealing with a water sign 
or an air sign, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with anybody. It looks to me like we have somebody here that has been hailed back by like an energy thief that has caused them to be a victim. It's like, but I think that you guys are stepping out of that victim mentality. It's like, I will not be a victim to this circumstance. I'm going to take action. I'm going to take my life in my own hands. I'm going my own way. I think you guys have this newfound confidence that, you know, I'm going after what I'm worth because it is self-worth. I think that you guys have been held back by another individual. Could be a parent, could be a mother, could be a father, okay? Could be a parent, could be... A sibling, because these are siblings, could be even children. You know, it could be children. You guys have been held back, or could be a, a roommate, could be, I don't know who, it could be friends. You guys have been held back by another individual that, you know, just was hope they were hope they were keeping you stuck. They were they were stealing your energy to a point where you probably were exhausted. And I don't need that exhausted card. I feel like you're at this point where you're choosing another option. I think that you've been thinking about it for some time. I think that what's, what's happened here is you've been clinging to the memories with whoever this person is. Yeah, you've got memories. There may be some feelings. There once was some feelings, but I'm not sure they're there anymore. I think the feelings probably have dissipated because whoever you're dealing with, you know, they, they probably didn't offer you any emotional support. And I think that you have some new emotional support coming in. Whether it's somebody that, or you have emotional support around you, maybe you need to ask for it. Um, if you are single, if you are completely single and you're ready and you're doing quite well, you're on your own. This is you're on your own. You're on your own. You may have somebody come into your life that, you know, could really love you. Somebody that is emotionally available. Um <laughs> Yeah, things have been upside down. There's been chaos. There's been disorder. There's been disharmony. I think that you've been doing too much. You've been you've been going back and forth. Like I said, it's like you've been on an emotional roller coaster. I think you're ready to just let it all go. I'm ready. I'm ready to let this all go. I think you guys are taking your power back. This is the outcome. I'm taking my power back. I love myself. And this is in your hopes and fears. In your hopes and fears, you're hoping for love. You're hoping that somebody is going to come in and take care of you. You know, and I think that you are going to get your wish. Okay, this is this is over our energy, the Nine of Cups. You are going to get your wish. And you're going to get your wish because you're working so, so, so hard. You're working so hard. And everybody can see it. Everybody can see it. So do not doubt yourself for a minute. I think your self-love is 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 blossoming you into somebody new a completely new person and you're going to get what you're wishing for you are this is like a, you will get what you are wishing for and it's because you're doing the work you're doing the work one more card this is a message coming in this is a this is an exciting opportunity this is that doorway i was talking to you about you're taking a new approach. You have you are you're going to be receiving an invitation or an exciting offer that is going to lead you down a new path that could really grow into something that you are passionate about. You know, and it's funny. There's four wands here, not just one. So you know, there's four wands here. So this is about commitment. You commit yourself to the new path, and you will be you will succeed, and you will be happy. You could meet somebody at a gathering. You could. You could meet somebody at some sort of celebration that really suits you if you are single. Maybe this person leads you down that new path. This is somebody who may be a little bit younger than you. And this could be you as well that just takes this new approach, gets this new excitement within you and decides, I'm going on a new adventure. I'm taking that path. So some of you are going to be receiving good news or you're going to go to something or you're going to receive an invitation to something and you could meet somebody just saying somebody that is very well suited for you. It could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be anybody because we have all the signs here. But this is an exciting opportunity. I think that I see excitement here. I think that you guys are excited for the, the new path. Okay. Um, if you are completely single... I'm going to tell you one more time. 
and you're doing well and you're living your life. This is living the good life. You're grateful. This is an attitude of gratitude. Okay, when you're grateful for the life you have, you're single and you love it, that's when your wish fulfillment comes in. When you're not negative, this is a very positive energy. You know, there's, and this is a very positive energy as well. Something positive is coming into your life. Trust me, it is. This is a new opportunity that is really, 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 really going to excite you. It's something that you're going to want to tell the whole world about. It's going to be like, oh my God, look what just happened to me. Victory. Victory. That strength, that stamina, that perseverance is going to bring you victory. Look at that. You are the victor here. Don't give up. Yes, you've been through a battle, but you have won. Do not give up. You are the winner. You're the winner. You're the winner. And it's because you persevered. So anyway, Sagittarius, I feel like this week you're going to receive an invitation or an offer or a message that really excites you. You've earned it. Good luck.